I've got a lot of revenge on my mind for a few people. It's like, I ain't losing to these. Come on! Yeah! Hold on to your seatbelt because it's about to get bumpy. Hello boys and girls. Now, of course, I would love to be sitting here bringing you news of a brand new Arsenal signing. But we don't sign anybody. So we've got none of that news at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take a look at current Arsenal players who have been out on loan and whether I feel that they could possibly make it and break within the first team. Um, there's been a lot of players who have been out on loan. And the first player that I'm going to go with is a very interesting one because he's been at Arsenal a while. And that's Polish international Christian Bielik. Um, he's a 21-year-old. And like I said, he's been at Arsenal a long time. He's been here for five years or so now. He has not even made a Premier League debut. You know, no games at all in the Premier League. Um, ironically, his debut came in a League Cup game. Uh, where we actually lost to Sheffield Wednesday and he came off the bench and ironically he was actually really good and he really stood out in my mind then and I'd heard of him before and I remember when he was first brought into the club he was predominantly a defender and everybody was raving about him and then he kind of went off the boil a little bit and there was a bit of problems and a couple of injuries and whatnot and then when I watched him at that game up at Hillsborough I sat there and I thought, wow, this boy looks quite good. Give him a couple more years and if he really progresses, then yeah, we could have a player on our hands. And then he kind of went away, went out on loan. And I remember he was at Walsall and he had a couple of niggling injuries and they ended up keeping him out for a long time. And he ended up not even playing. And you were starting to think, mm, maybe it just isn't to be. And then last year, he went out on loan to Cholton. Now, Cholton were in League One. And you're thinking to yourself, is that really a test? Is that really the kind of standard that we want to see what he can do? But I tell you something, he had one hell of a season. A breakthrough season. Um, I think he played about nine games in defence. And the rest was when he moved into defensive midfield. And he was absolutely brilliant. And I think every single one of us um, watched the playoff final with Cholton and he was man of the match. And he was absolutely monstrous in there. Um, and then I'm watching the under-21s internationals at the moment and he's in the tournament playing for Poland. And um, only a few days ago, I watched him in that game and he scored an absolute peach of a goal. And it's just making us think even more now this lad deserves a chance surely he must be knocking on the door surely Unai Emery has to be looking at him and thinking we need to give this lad a chance how many chances have players like Cole Jenkinson had and we can't give this lad a chance because I'm telling you something he's technically a much better player than the likes of Cole Jenkinson that's for sure he's versatile and he can offer so much to this team. Now, we're in a bit of a predicament because his contract expires in two years' time. Now, you remember the interview with Raul Sanelli a couple of uh, months or so ago, um, even less than that, actually. He was talking about players at Arsenal. There won't be none of this running down contracts and losing players, etc., etc., anymore. When you get to two years left on your contract, the club will decide whether to offer you a new one or whether they're going to sell you. If you don't accept the new contract, they will look to sell you. There's none of this running down into the final year. Now, if we were to sell Bielik, I don't think that there would be a shortage of takers. I think there'll be a lot of sides very, very interested in queuing up to take him. But it's whether we will offer him that chance. And that's the strange thing. I personally think he needs to do that. He needs to be given a chance. Emery has to give him... Um, an opportunity in pre-season at least when we go to America. We play a pre-season game in France. We play a pre-season game in Barcelona. We've got the Emirates Cup as well. There's plenty of games there 
to give him an opportunity. Now, I know he may need a little bit more time uh, because of the Euro Championships, the under-21s, like I said. So maybe America might be out of the question because I believe that's only in three weeks' time. Um, less than that, even. But looking at his stats from last year, I know it's League One, but i tell you something, they stack up. And you can't take this lightly. You've got to look at this and give it the respect it deserves. And, you know, he had played 31 games in League One, scored three goals, got a couple of assists. And remember, he's predominantly a defender, defensive midfielder. Um, so he's not going to be scoring loads of goals and getting loads of assists or anything like that. But some interesting statistics about him. He was in the top 50% in the league for tackles. Um, top 50% for interceptions. Um, as well as scoring contributions all over the course of 90 minutes. And that is good stats. Like I said, it doesn't matter that he's playing in League One. Let's give him the respect it deserves. Um, he's also in the top 50% in the league for passes leading to goals. So again, another impressive stat. Now, a very interesting story um, involving Bielik was last season against Accrington Stanley, Cholton scored a 94th minute goal and um, all the players went over towards the corner flag to celebrate and everything else as they do and a Cholton fan ran on the pitch to celebrate and as he ran into the pack of the players he slipped over and he actually slide tackled Bielik and he injured him. <laughs> that is so Arsenal like if he was actually in an Arsenal shirt it would just be us to a T. A player gets injured by a fan. It's like, my word, only we could be connected in some sort of way to some kind of incident like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, he hasn't had a great deal of injuries. Someone's going to take him off our hands if we don't give him a chance. What have we got to lose in giving him a chance this season? You know, playing him in Europa League games, Carabao games, um, FA Cup games, etc, etc. Why not give him a chance? You know, we're talking about all these players at the moment. We're looking to sign that are 20, 21 years old and some even younger than that. Well, we've got one in our ranks right now. And technically, he's a seriously good player. Comfortable on the ball, carries the ball, passing's good. He's really, really good. Could he even be an upgrade on the likes of Mohamed El Nenny? I think he could. I know he's younger and he hasn't got the experience and the international experience that the likes of El Nini have got. But he will offer more. And he does more with the ball than just play it sideways four yards. That's for sure. So, um, yeah. And what I'm going to do now quickly is I'm going to get into a couple of stats. And I'm going to compare him with an Arsenal player, which is Lucas Torreira. Now, the reason why is because they're playing predominantly in that area. Now, of course, you know... Lucas Torreri plays for Arsenal, it's the Premier League, it's different to League One, but just to give you a kind of idea. Um, but for duels, Bielik is 28.07, and that's a 46.4% um, success rate with the duels one. Um, Lucas Torreira only has a 41% uh, percentage of duels one. It's not trying to say who's better, it's just you know, given a kind of idea of just how impressive Bielik has been. Um, interceptions, 8.92 from Bielik, only 5.16 from Torreira. Um, you're going into recoveries in the opposition half, 16.74, 27.1% from Bielik, 9.12 from Torreira with a 41%. Um, so, listen, all these kind of statistics you're looking at and you're saying... You know what? bielik has got some bits about him. He's definitely an interesting player and someone that I would like to see come back at the club and somebody that I would like to see given an opportunity, to be quite honest with you. What have we got to lose with giving him a chance? Let's be honest about it. We haven't got a lot to lose. We haven't got a lot of money. We could have a gem on our hands. We could be looking at it in a couple of years' time going, wow, thank God we didn't get rid of him. Or we could be looking at it going, why did we get rid of him? You know, we're not going to get a lot of money for him. A couple of million. And the way that we sell players, we'll probably end up paying someone to take him. We're that stupid and that ridiculous with the way that we do our transfers. But listen, I'm all for it, to be quite honest with you. I think that he'd be a good addition to the squad. 
Um, so listen, as usual, let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, do you think that Christian Bielik could be somebody that should be given an opportunity at Arsenal this season? Have you seen a lot of him? Have you been watching Cholton? Have you seen what his performances are like this year? Did you watch his performance in the playoff final? What do you think? Like I said, let me know below. If you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video. And um, hopefully in the next few days, I can do a transfer video where we've actually signed someone and I can welcome them to the club. Because like I said, we've got under three weeks and we're on our way to America. Surely we've got to get this sorted out, man. Come on, Arsenal. It's really starting to wind me up now. I'm trying to enjoy my holidays, but I'm constantly thinking about the lack of activity in the transfer window. We'll wait and see, though. So until then, I'll see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.